Have you invested in United States savings bonds this week? How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is your host, Kenny Delmar, introducing Guest Star, one of a series of programs produced and transcribed in New York and presented by this station and United States Savings Bonds as a public service. The Savings Bonds Orchestra, under the direction of Dennis Gay, make the music as I welcome our guest for this program, the lovely lady who found fame and fortune by handling a piano with kid gloves, the incomparable Hildegard. <laughs> Yes, yes, here she is. That charming enchantress of song, that devastating, delightful, the lovely, exquisite, glamorous, continental chanteuse. Kenny, Kenny, you sound just like a train announcer. Oh, Hildegard, you've cut me to the quick. Well, Kenny, I didn't mean it quite the way it sounded. I, I really loved your introduction, only, uh, only you make me sound some sort of like a foreign siren. I'm really just a plain American gal at heart. Oh, no, 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 no. You mustn't say that, Hildegard. You belong to the world. You have that old world look. I beg your pardon. Oh, I, I mean, I mean, you have that continental look. That, uh, that, uh, how you Americans say that? Well, anyway, you have it. Yes, indeed, you have. <laughs> and besides, you're an idol of mine. Oh, Kenny, you're so sweet to say that. You know, I, I think about you every time I have a free moment. I pass every minute of that time thinking about my idol. What you might call an idle pastime, hmm? <laughs> Kel Pun. <laughs> yes, Kel. Why, today, on my way here to see you, I, I went into a flower shop for an orchid. Oh, Kenny, how gallant, how thoughtful of you. But I didn't buy it. It was too big for my buttonhole. Oh, bless you, darling. But, Kenny, men don't wear... I mean, uh, no one wears an orchid in a buttonhole. I know that, but I looked absolutely ridiculous when I tried wearing it in my hair. <laughs> You know, it's amazing. You know, you, you achieved the same effect without the orchid. And I wanted to look sophisticated with an orchid when I met you. The world's greatest chanteur, uh, shoozy, uh, boozy ever. <laughs> Tell me, Hildegard, if some places you go, they call a girl who sings a singer. But in the swanky places, they call her a chanteuse. What's the difference? Oh, just a cover charge, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's never a cover charge at Guest Star. How about a song? I'd love to, my dear. You know, I feel like reminiscing. I'd like to sing Among My Souvenirs. Ah, that would be wonderful. Particularly since that's the one we rehearsed. Yes, isn't that true? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing left for me of days that used to be I live in memory among my souvenirs Some letters tied with blue A photograph or two I see a rose from you among my a few more tokens rest within my treasure chest and though they do their best to give me consolation I count them all apart and as the teardrops start, I find a broken heart among my souvenirs. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a surprise for you. We have a real genius in our midst, Dennis Agay. Oh, oh, I promised I wouldn't call him a genius. He's so modest. Well, anyway, Dennis Agay has very red hair, bright red, and he blushed when I called him a genius at rehearsal. But <laughs> his face got so red, you couldn't tell which was hair and which was face. Oh, well, I said it, and I'm glad. Anyway, Dennis Agay has arranged a miniature piano concerto on themes by Paganini. 
and you are now going to hear its premiere performance with a distinguished Hungarian piano virtuoso, Miklos Schwalb, as soloist, and Dennis conducting the Savings Bonds Orchestra. <laughs> Yes, indeed, a solid piece of stuff and some very solid playing. Yes, it carries me back to Paris. Well, at least you ain't on the road to Mandalay. <laughs> you know, Kenny, the last time I heard Miklis Schwal play, I was in Paris. Tell me, Hildegard, this Paris, it, it's quite a place I hear. I'd like to go there sometime. Oh, Kenny, if it's the last thing you do, you must go there. Oh, it's so romantic, so charming, so gay. Yeah, but the language, Hildegard, didn't you have a tough time getting around when you first went over there? Oh, yes, at first, of course. After all, we spoke different languages. They spoke French, and I spoke high school French. I studied Spanish in high school. Say, I'd get along all right in Paris. I once tried to talk Spanish to a guy from Spain, and he said it sounded just like French. <laughs> all problems are solved. And maybe, maybe when you get to Paris, you'll be able to solve a mystery for me. Well, sure, what is it? Well, you've heard of the perfume Chanel Number no. 5, haven't you? Yeah, yes. I heard of it. Well, uh, see if you can find out what happened to Chanel numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I understand from unreliable sources, of course, that the French girls are... Uh, well, the, the girls are... Uh, uh, are what? 
Well, but the uh, French girls are, you know, uh, French girls. Absolutely correct, <laughs> if a little obvious. Yeah, well, help me out. Now, How? what does a guy say to a French girl? You mean, uh, how does one touch on the tender topics, uh, the fervent phrases, the ardent words, the sentimental words, the words of love and romance? How to pitch woo? Uh, it took you a long time to get there. Didn't <laughs> well, what I mean, uh, what does a guy say? Oh, um, he'd say, uh, que je t'aime, mon trésor, vie de ma vie, âme de mon âme. Very pretty. Is it good? <laughs> no, it's French. <laughs> but it's not subtle. No real Frenchman would make love that way. Uh, he wouldn't, huh? No. You see, when a Frenchman talks love, he just flirts. But when he's silent, mmm. Yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, speech is sporting, but silence is courting. <laughs> In French, it's not what you say, Kenny, but what you don't say that counts. Well, that's no place for a radio announcer. <laughs> no, but this is, Kenny. Suppose you announce my next song. Hmm? Right. And now, the magic of a charming continental melody as the inimitable Hildegard sings My Belle Ami. <laughs> So many women adore him, so many women they bore him, I'm just the woman who's for him, if only he loves only me. Who am I dreaming of each time I dream of love, my Bella me? Who clinks his glass with mine each time we're drinking wine? My Bella me. Whose arms romance with me each time they dance with me? It's plain to see. Whose love is deep? Whose love is strong? Whose love will keep for oh so long? has my heart and lips right at his fingertips Bella me Who am I dreaming of each time I dream of love my Bella me Who clinks his glass with mine each time we're drinking wine, my Bella me. Whose arms romance with me each time they dance with me, it's plain to see. Whose love is deep, whose love is strong, whose love will keep. For oh, so long Who has my heart and lips Right at his fingertips Bella me Oh, my Bella me, that's wonderful I'm going to go to Paris someday And see the Seine, the right bank and left bank But right here in the United States in any bank, you can buy United States savings bonds. Can't you just see the Paris post office? Must be the biggest there is. All those postcards with pictures of the Eiffel Tower and... All United States post offices, big and small, sell United States savings bonds. Go up onto the Eiffel Tower and... No, maybe, no, maybe not. Doesn't look safe. Well, there's no safe or a better investment anywhere than United States savings bonds because they are guaranteed by your government. Must be a wonderful place, Paris. So many people go back there regularly. The best way to save is to buy United States savings bonds regularly, every week. And the easy automatic way to save is through the payroll savings plan where you work or the bond a month plan where you bank. Yeah, a trip to Paris would really pay off. United States savings bonds return $4 for every three invested in just 10 years. How's that for a payoff? Yeah, that was good advice Hildegard gave me about the trip. And my advice to everyone is buy United States savings bonds now and buy them every week. <laughs> Kenny Delmar signing off for Guest Star, one of a series of programs presented by this station and United States Savings Bonds as a public service. 
guest stars produced and transcribed in New York. I want to thank adorable, wonderful, charming Hildegard for her splendid singing and spoofing. And until next we meet, here's a question to remember. Have you invested in United States savings bonds this week? They're a goodbye. A goodbye, that is. <laughs>